What we're going to be doing today is showing you how to remove the, or replace, the dog bone on the HPI E10 car. Uh, it's extremely simple. Um, you're going to first use your Phillips screwdriver to unscrew this screw on the outside of the wheel. Um, it's going to look like this when you take it off. You want to make sure you keep this in there. Set that aside. Next is this little uh, piece that looks like a uh, disc, disc brake. You're going to pull that off out, out of the little uh, fake caliper. There we go. Make sure you don't lose these little metal bearings in there. Set that aside. Um, you're going to unscrew I've already done it for, for ease. Um, unscrew these two screws it's normally connected all the way to the other plastic piece. Just unscrew those, pull them apart a little bit, and then you should be able to just slide that piece off, lift it up to get it out of your way. Then you'll have this little ball. You see that's what it's connected to. Um, this is your dog bone right here. See, it kind of moves. Uh, this tends to pop out. So, um, if I pull it a little bit, see I'm pulling this piece away, this piece away a little bit. It's got a little bit of play. Um, you can see what the dog bone looks like. Let me get in there. There we go. It looks like that on both sides, okay? So you're basically going to be slipping it into those little grooves. It's the same on both sides. These little pieces move. Um, so, you're going to slide it in there or take it off, whichever one you're planning on doing, you're supposed to be doing. Um, then uh, you're going to reverse the process. You're going to lower this piece again, pop that ball back in there, use your Phillips screwdriver, tighten those both back up, grab your little fake disc brake, slide it into this little piece, make sure it's pushed on there, and then Make sure this guy's in there. These little uh, knobs, I guess you could say, little pins, fit inside the three of these little uh, little notches there. So you're basically going to connect this back on there and screw it back on. And there you go. Pretty easy. Thanks.